talked about dividing, and we have seen that remainders can be written as decimals. Today we're going to talk about the three different kind of decimal remainders. A repeating decimal is a decimal that repeats. A terminating decimal is a decimal that ends, a decimal that has eventually nothing left over. And an irrational number is a decimal that doesn't repeat and doesn't end. Let's look at some examples of each of them. The slice of cheese that we cut in class introduced us to the repeating decimal. If you remember, we had the slice of American cheese and we did this division problem, 1 divided by 3. One slice of cheese shared with three people. Because we only had one slice of cheese, we had to first cut it into tenths. And now we have ten tenths. And each person got three of those tenths. We had one tenth left over. So we took that tenth and we cut it into hundredths. And those hundredths, we gave three of them, and we had one left over. And then we had one hundredth that we cut into ten thousandths, and we shared it. And then that thousandths we could have cut into ten thousandths. This decimal repeats. This decimal would never end. So we would say that the quotient is 0.3 repeating. This line represents a number that repeats. It's only used on decimals, never whole numbers. Terminating decimal is one that has an ending. <laughs> if we were to divide 100 by 8, it would look like this. So I have a remainder of 4. Well, I would take that 4... and turn it into tenths. Because this ends in zero, we call it a terminating decimal. Any fraction, not improper fraction, but any fraction will always terminate or repeat. Sometimes numbers are Irrational. If you remember when we did our study of numbers, whole numbers were numbers from 0 to infinity, and then we introduced integers, which was all of the whole numbers and all of the negative numbers on the opposite side of the, under, of the number line, and then we found out that whole numbers and integers are examples of rational numbers along with everything that has a fraction or a terminating or repeating decimal, any number that can be written as a fraction. This is an example of an irrational number. An irrational number doesn't even fit in our nice diagram. An irrational number is a number that never repeats and never ends. So I have a tenth. gave you 22 divided by 7 and wrote it 22 divided by 7, you could see that this decimal doesn't repeat, nor does this decimal ever end. It just keeps going. So, if I were to give you a set of division problems and ask you if they terminated or repeated, you would have to change the division problems to look like this and then tell me if they were terminating or repeating. Please remember the dividend is always the winner. The dividend always comes first. The dividend is in the dead. So this says 1 
divided by 4, which is 1 divided by 4. 1 divided by 4 needs to be changed to 10 tenths divided by 4. Because it ends in 0, we can say that this terminates. 20 divided by 6. Just after 2, I see that this pattern is going to continue. So we would say that this is a repeating decimal. And this symbol on the top of the number that repeats is how we know it is repeating. Now let's try 5 <laughs> ninths. 5 divided by 9. Two steps tells me this is going to repeat because this 50 and this 45 are repeating, which means these numbers here are repeating. So we would say that this is a repeating decimal of 0.5. And then this one, 5 divided by 3. And so I have found another repeating decimal. Notice I didn't put the line over the whole number. This repeating line only works on decimals. So, now it's your turn to show what you know. Identify each quotient as a repeating or a terminating decimal. Remember, Quotient is the answer to a division problem. And just because it's written as a fraction doesn't mean it's not a division problem. 1 divided by 6. In order to divide, I would first change it to 10 tenths. Now I can see that this is going to continue in this pattern. So I would put a line over top of the 6. I would not put a line over top of the 1 because the 1 is not part of the repeating decimal. 12 divided by 20. 12 divided by 20. Twenty into one hundred twenty is point six, and this is a terminating decimal. Let's look at fifteen divided by four. Fifteen divided by four. is a terminating decimal. So 1 sixth was repeating, 15 divided by 4 was terminating, 12 divided by 20 was terminating, and we have 1 left, 3 divided by 9. Dividend divided by divisor. Inside dividend, outside divisor, the dividend is in the den. This is supposed to say three. Sorry about that. Seven. 
So again, this is a repeating decimal. 